stressed out like I want to buy bundles but I can't buy so bundles I. right now bundles I can't be about the bundle life right now you understand what I'm saying Sally May keeps calling she okay. wants her coins okay I want to buy bundle hair but I can't get it right now like I I just can't afford bundle hair right now are you serious girl you better go to the beauty supply store and get you some pack hair pack hair yes pack hair for under $20 the beauty supply store yes it feels good and it looks good I'm going to the beauty supply store right now to get me a pack I'm gonna pick you up some packs okay I got you here it is oh she feels so good Hey guys, like the Ace, I'm back in the building. What's up, what's goody? How are you? Let's jump right into this hair. Oh my God, girls, can you get into this? First and foremost, before we even start this video, you know what I'm gonna need you to do. I'm going to need you to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your peoples. So this hair was provided by Cosmo Biz. I am one of their beauty examiners, which makes me super excited because I'm gonna give you fun facts and I'm gonna give you a bit more detail about this hair. Cosmo Biz sent me three packs of hair. All three is in my head right now. This hair is Bobby Boss winner. This hair can be found at your local beauty supply store for less than $20. Economically friendly, yes. You could pay Sally Mae and look slay, okay? I'm so here for it. Like, get into her, okay? Get into her. This is their natural yakki, 16 inches, and a color 1B. Fun fact about this hair is if it says 16 inch, it is actually 17 inch, giving hairstylists a little bit more room and more length to play with for styling purposes. The hair quality is 100% human. None of those synthetics, y'all. This is 100% human. Don't bleach this hair. It will change the whole hair patterns. It's already processed, so do not bleach this. This hair comes in assorted colors. Do not get fancy and bleach this hair. I love this packaging like the packaging is super cute it has this art that I thought was really cool really unique I haven't seen any hair packages that has graffiti like art on it and I think that's like really beautiful really ethnic really cool really different and the package definitely stands out good job Bobby boss I really enjoy that how I did this hair was I did it on a on a lace cap and it's not the best work. I feel like I could have made this a little bit more closer, but for what it is, it's pretty good. It's pretty decent. I did the invisible part method using glue. I will show you a little bit on how I did this method. It's not a long video, but it's more so a guideline on how to do it. There's lots of videos on how to create a invisible part. I haven't mastered it yet. I know if you guys seen my last video when I did Janet Collection Aria Body Wave, I did the cutting the hair off the width method where it looks like the hair was growing from the scalp, but I found that that method was a little bit too messy for me. And I found that this one, the invisible part with the tracks, is just a little bit more easier. This mini tutorial is basically focused on how I created my closure and invisible part. I already started the process of gluing this hair on the lace part wig. As you can see, I structured this wig into a U-part wig. For the invisible part, what you're going to need to do is split the tracks. Splitting the tracks will leave the top of the hair looking flat. It will cause your invisible part to look a bit more seamless. What you want to do is create a guideline as to where you want your invisible part to be. Measure the hair from where you drew the part to the inside of your U-part wig. You're going to place each track on top of each other as closely as possible. Keep your tracks straight. When you place the tracks on top of each other, it causes it to look like an illusion part. I will put down below some references of how I created this down below. So that way you could get a way more better understanding of how to create an invisible part. I glued the hair all the way to the top where I stopped so that way I know where I'm going to place the closure I'm going to make. What you're going to do is you're going to take your thick track, don't split it, and you're going to roll it together with hair glue. Put some heat on it so that way it could hold in place. And then you're going to kind of open the hair so it could lay flat. To ensure that the hair stays in place like this, 
place it in your flat iron and just hold it together until you get like a pancake and then you just place it on top of the middle section where the empty space is not too bad for my first time I am not a hairstylist ladies but I do like a good DIY this video is mainly for information about the hair but I just felt like I needed to show you guys how I created it all references will be down below the three packs did enough for me I didn't have to go out and buy some additional hair the packs was just perfect I am obsessed with this hair this hair to me is so bomb it's like it has a nice body to it I am obsessed with this hair could I have done a better job at my closure yes I could have but practice makes perfect so I'll take the practice it doesn't really have a lot of shedding to it. It has a really nice body. I, I'm like super impressed on how thick the hair is. I'm super impressed by how soft the hair is. I'm super impressed by how nice and straight the hair is, but still has like some kind of texture to it. This hair is high quality. It's affordable. It is at your local beauty supply store. Sometimes we don't want to spend like a grip, but if you're looking for something fast, if you're looking for something easy, if you're looking for something now, go to your beauty supply store and get this Bobby Boss winner hair. Bobby Boss, you did that, girl. You did that. I am so here for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you follow me on my Instagram and Snapchat at Delightful Ace. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the bomb. Mwah.